So let's look at drawing a box plot using your calculator and I'm using a TI-83 here to demonstrate. So the first thing you need to do is put your data into the list. So I'm going to go stat and I want this edit option here which is already highlighted so I'll press enter and now I'll just enter my data into the list. So 42, enter, 48, enter and so on. And now that's all entered in, I'm going to go to turn on the stat plot. So I go second and the Y equals, because when you press second, this yellow button, it allows you to choose one of these yellow items that are listed above the standard numbers. So above Y equals, it says stat plot. So when I press that, I get the stat plot menu. And this one's already turned on, but so I'll just go into it. If it's turned off, you would select on in that first option and then you'd select which kind of graph you want. Now this one here is a box plot and it's got on there a couple of little outliers. And this one here is also a box plot but it doesn't have outliers on it. So what that means is it'd include the outliers in the actual diagram. So I'm gonna use these arrows and select this one here because we want to be able to see uh, any outliers that exist. And this one here, you tell the calculator where you put the data and we put it in list one, so that's okay. And then this option here is just the marker that you want to use for the outliers. So we'll go with that little circle. So now we press graph and we can't see it. That's because we need to go zoom, which is this button here, and select stat. So you could either press number nine or you could press up twice and you get to it here, zoom stat. And there we have our box plot. And this out here is our little outlier at 12, and these are the other, um, this is the bulk of it here. Now to find out what those figures are, you press trace, and it puts your cursor on there. So if I go this way, I'm at the minimum, which is technically 12. Over here, we've got the X value of 40, which is acting as our other minimum at the moment, because of that outlier. I move across and I'm on that Q1 point, which is 41. I move across and I'm on the median there, which is at 52. I move across again, Q3 at 57. And across again, we're on the maximum at 66. And if you wanted to draw another box plot so that you could compare the two, we would follow the same steps. We'd go stat and then edit. And in list two, we'd put some more data here. So just bear with me for a second. And then we would go back into our stat plot. So second y equals, which gives us stat plot. And we would like another stat plot to be turned on. So we'll say, go into this one and it's currently off. So with the cursor on on, we'll press enter and that turns it to on. Going down into the type menu, we scroll over until we see the box plot with outliers. And then we press enter and moving down we don't want to graph L1 this time, we want to graph L2, which is listed just above here next to the 2 button. So we're going to press 2nd, 2, and that'll give us the L2 on this menu here. And we can use the same marker. So now we say graph, and there you have both of our box plots drawn next to each other, and we can compare them.